Sweet Potato presents Evil P and the Beanstalk by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett. It's showtime in the supermarket and the veggies are proud to present Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, Tomato began, there was a pea called Jack. He lived in a tiny house with his mum and their beloved cow, Daisy. Jack didn't have a penny to his name, but he did have a good, kind heart. He what? I mean... Yes, I am very poor. Whatever will I do? There is only one thing we can do, said Jack's mum. We'll have to sell Daisy. So off Jack went to market to sell the cow. On the way, he met a mysterious mango. Hey, dude, nice cow. How about you swap me your cow for these beans? You want me to swap my cow for some beans, said Jack. What do you think I am? Some kind of nitwit? Easy, dude. These are magic beans. They will bring you riches beyond your wildest dreams. Hmm, interesting, thought Jack. And he dashed home to show his mum the new beans. Go on then, be magic, he shouted at them. But nothing happened. Why don't we put them on toast, suggested mum. No, spat Jack. I've been tricked. These beans aren't magic at all. And with that, he flung them out of the window, where they belong. But in the morning, when Jack woke up, he found something very strange outside. Maybe that nitwit mango was telling the truth after all. A huge beanstalk had grown and was stretching high up into the sky. Where are my riches then, beancumber? demanded Jack. The beanstalk just pointed, so good little Jack started to climb. Oi, stop calling me good. I'm evil. Mwahahaha. Ah! The beanstalk was moving about and Jack was losing his grip. Keep still, you nitwit beanstalk, yelled Jack. But it was too late. Help, he cried as he began to fall. Could this be the end for Jack? Don't panic, called a voice from below. Super Tate, I mean, Super Mum to the rescue. In no time at all, they were through the clouds and could see a huge castle far off in the distance. When they got to the door, it was open. So in they went, and there on the table was a golden hen. I am the golden pineapple, I mean golden hen, and I lay golden eggs. Just one of my golden eggs will make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. One, snorted Jack. What do you mean just one? Then all of a sudden the ground started to shake, and Jack and his mum heard a loud robotic voice. Wi-fi, boat, fum, I smell pee, gonna eat me some. Be it alive or be it dead, I'll gobble its legs and crunch its head. Quick, cried Jack, let's hide in this cupboard. The door creaks open. Why fight for bum, I'm gonna find you, here I come. And with that, the giant melon bot flung open the cupboard. Must have pee, it said. Help, cried Jack and his mum as they scrambled out of the cupboard and headed for the door. Stop, I'm going to eat you, shouted the giant. Jack and his mum dived through the clouds and started to climb down the wobbly beanstalk. But the giant was hot on their heels. Wi-fi, bo-fum, you can't hide, you can't run. Quick, shouted Jack, we're almost there. Let's chop the beanstalk in half so that the giant can't catch us. Good idea, gasped mum. What? Nobody's chopping me in half, shrieked the beanstalk. And with that, it started to run, bringing the giant crashing towards the ground. Wi-fi, fo, fum, I think I'm going to bump my... Bum, said the giant in pieces on the floor. We're safe, cried mum. Oh, Jack, you're such a good little pea. Oh, no, I'm not, said Jack. Oh, yes, you are, said his mum. Oh, no, I'm not, said Jack. Just then, up popped the golden hen. I wonder what happened to my golden eggs, said the golden hen. I've looked everywhere. Not everywhere, said Jack with a wink. We don't need riches, do we, said Jack's mum, patting him lovingly on the head. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Not when we've got each other. Oh, it looks like you've got a bit of egg on your face, chuckled the golden hen. You didn't really think they were made of gold, did you? The end. Thank you for listening, and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and come join us for more stories.